All right, I'm gonna do a quick rig walk around. This is set up for our trip to Utah that we're about to depart on. Figured I'd just run around the rig real quick. Starting outside, we have a Nash Fabco rack with a complement of things on top. That is a light bar that's made from a bunch of SS3 dynamic lights, a couple ambers on the outside, everything else is white. And those are the, dri the driving lens. And then over there on this side, that's a OVS 270 awning. This is an OVS privacy room. Folds down for the showers and the poo-poos. And there's some Max Tracks. And there's a water port um, for pressurized and in this case, potable water if we want to use it. Some Dow Dynamics SSC2 reverse lights. Um, on top here, we have a Pelican 1600, which is strapped to the roof rack and is filled with all of my recovery gear. So that's an air up, air down kit. Soft shackles, toe strap. Um, that's an air compressor. And then right beyond that is an NMO mount. And I'm running a large uh, 26 inch whip for this trip because it'll be in the middle of nowhere. Normally runs a ghost antenna. Here's the other side of the vehicle. There's that big 270 awning. Um, truck is running 275, 70, 17s. So a 32 and some change, that'll eventually get swapped to probably some pizza cutters or something. Um, and it's on Dobbinson's IMS. And then in here, got GMRS. Um, this is an Ocean KG-1000G, I believe is what it's called. And the actual radio lives in the glove box. But this is just a face plate. Phone mount. Biscuit. It's a Garmin inReach hanging out up there. Um, what else is done in here? Oh, running a scan gauge for trans temps. So I found pulling a trailer over some very high mountains is important. Additionally, there's some ditch lights up here, which are also on Nash Fabco mounts. Didn't see those earlier. And then I have the KDSS disable button. And there is the control panel for the Switch Pro that is running this whole thing. I'll pop the hood and show you that real quick. And then I also have a handheld radio to go with that guy for spotting purposes. So under the hood, not a lot aside from dirt. Much dirt. Um, this is power trays. And this is fuse box, switch pros, ground bus bar. Pretty simple. And then we have the Switch Pros breaker, the um, fuse panel breaker, and then this guy feeds the house battery rig and goes to a charge controller, which I will show you in a minute. Um, running an Optima red top with the SDHQ terminals. I have recently installed a trans cooler, which you can see hanging out there. Below that, you can see my winch right there. That's a Smitty build. Uh, X2O Gen 3 12K winch running on an LFD hidden winch mount running a chopped front bumper and running the Peter GXOR plate and a Factor 55 flat link E um, that's it under the hood I believe let's move on from that let's hop in the back seat here and I'll show you the 
power rig. Um, it's kind of janky, but it works. I have a have a power plug running from my inverter just hanging out here in the back seat, but it's what we'll have to go with for now. And then back here is the house power rig. It's relatively simple. It's really just a charge controller, which is mounted on a bison gear panel, a couple bus bars, negative, positive, um, and then have a circuit breaker, or not break, circuit breaker, a fuse box, and an inverter, all running off of a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. Um, the charge controller can accept solar, but I don't have that hooked up right now. It's just running off the alternator. Um, everything pops out of the plastic over there in the quarter panel and runs this way. And then this is a shunt for a battery meter, which you can see right there. And all of this is um, bolted to the back of my fridge cage, essentially, which allows us to stack crap up here. You'll see the more of that in a minute. Um, and then this has got my fridge hardwired to it, as well as a panel that's mounted back there, which I'll show you in just a minute. Other than that, the back seat's pretty stock. Got a little iPad mount for our son to watch some movies on the trip. And then I've got this janky little extension cord just hanging out for now, just running off the inverter to get us some sort of power in the back seat. And then here's the trunk. So this is also a pretty simple setup, which I like. First off, have the bison gear table, which is awesome. Very simple to use, very well built. And it's just like that. I have my fridge, which is an Iceco. I think this is a VL60 single zone is what it is. But it's worked great. It's quiet, it's simple. There's that. There's another look at the panel with the meter and the charge controller. And I'm just using this space over here to jam stuff down in here. So I have some jumper cables jammed down in there. Got some TP wrapped in a wrapped in a bag. It's pretty classy. Um, I got my camp knife here and a Leatherman. That's about the only things I can mount to this because otherwise it'll smack into the fridge. This is our kitchen in a tub. So I have a Jep Oil Genesis set up in there, some portable eatery things, cooking utensils. This is like if we're gonna cook a meal. And then we'll have another one that rides on top, which is not here now, which will have dry food. And then like a Jet Boil Minimo to cook freeze dried meals, coffee, oatmeal, blah, blah, blah. And I got this drawer, which I will pull out. So in this first section I have, it's actually three chairs, believe it or not, for my wife, my son and I. Click chairs and then a, a stool. This is straps and things for the awning, so I try to keep everything I'm gonna have access to or want access to every day right here. Um, next one, cords, flashlights, portage. Um, this is for the water port, so the hose and the sprayer and all that. Back here we start to get the tools. This is actually the factory jack i've removed out of this location which was inaccessible and i have made a couple accoutrements to go with that this is a base the jack sits in this will take the top of it if you're working off a frame rail um, and then in the bag with the jack i have a uh, a bottle jack buddy which allows you to jack off the axle which is really handy and then back here i have tread repair kit for tires this is a sidewall repair kit blue tread a tool roll that is pretty well complemented this is a battery jump box that's kind of the stuff i wanted access to on a daily basis uh, other molly panel has a couple first aid kits and a fire extinguisher and then if you look really close you can see that blue c panel in there which is 12 volt off cigarette lighter adapter a meter for voltage and a pair of USB. And that's wired to that fuse box that I showed you that's on the other side of this guy earlier. Um, and then I will show you the trailer next. All right, so here's the trailer. 
It's an M416 military trailer that's been modified. So I got a couple rota packs over here, water, it's potable uh, on a max coupler. So it's an off-road coupler hitch. Propane on the front, a couple rota packs, gas cans, shovel, and some quick fists. That's a CVT hybrid tent, which is very dirty. And I've got a fuel tank water and a few other things on the inside, and that's kind of it.